But what I mean by it's, photojournalism is literally like doing stuff for, I mean, any, anything ranging from entertainment, paparazzi-like stuff, all the way over to, you know, sports journalism or any of that sort of stuff. Almost everybody works in digital. Uh, and, and by and large, uh, the quality of the photography has, has not decreased. Now, one of the things that we have to be very careful about um, when we're talking about photojournalism as opposed to, you know, people just taking pictures is because they're digital files and because there's so much processing that goes on in software, um, there's a huge opportunity to photo, you know, manipulate the photos, which is actually one of the reasons why some uh, uh, news organizations actually want the photos in JPEG rather than RAW because it is much harder to, uh, oh. it's much harder to manipulate photos in JPEG because of artifacting and because of lots of other things. Um, uh, and it's much easier to tell if they've been messed with right. than if it's in if Because they're raw. simpler. Yeah. So, so if you fiddle with them, it's more glaring. Yeah, it's, okay. that's exactly right. Uh, which I thought was really, which I thought was that's really interesting. That, yeah. that, that photojournalism, to some sort of sense, is it's more uh, faithful to the truth uh, if the photo is not as uh, high definition. And that's, right. that's kind of a mind blower. It's like, welcome to the 21st century.